data now is key into making decisions almost in every field of human uh, endeavor. It's a gold mine of its own, right? In the late uh, 30s and early 40s, you hear in the military parlance that he who controls the sky controls the war. In these modern times, the person that has access to the data controls the game and the outcomes. And irrespective of the field in which you are, whether you are in quality control, whether you are in manufacturing, whether you are in mining, you need to continuously collect data that will make informed decisions. So if you are a manufacturer, for instance, and your customers are complaining about your product, one key thing is that you are probably not collecting sufficient data to be able to control your processes. So data is the next goal. It's the platinum of the future. And that is why a course like this is very important. So we are not only providing a platform where you can extract and make decisions out of it, but we are also adding the tools that you need, whether it's statistics, whether it's programming, whether it's AI. It's a unified program that allows you to make sense out of data and to actionize data. So I think data for information, for governance, um, are crucial. We need to know how many engineers we need in the next 25 years. We need to know how many doctors we need in the next 35 years. You know, if you don't, then how do you prioritize where to put your educational investment? So if data science is the next big thing, if AI is the next big thing, it is time for us to develop a national strategy around that. You know, recently I said in the media that we tend to focus on the regulatory aspect of things when we don't even understand the fundamental imperatives of the things that we want to regulate. So if you want to develop a regulatory framework for AI, you first need to know as a nation what do we need to do with AI to develop. If you want to put structures around data, we need to understand what kinds of data do we need to collect to inform governance. And then you can put policies around how to regulate it. I am Professor F.K.E. Nunu, the Director for Tertiary Education at the Ministry of Education. For any country to develop, uh, education is quite very pivotal and critical, but much more specifically technology. Because in the current revolution or 21st century revolution, it is driven by technology data analytics and all the informatics, ICT and all that. And Ghana cannot continue to lag behind in this. So that's why the current government and also uh, under the transformational leadership of Dr. Oseyao Educhum at the Ministry of Education, he's driving the idea of STEM education, science, technology, education, and mathematics education across the country starting all the way from kindergarten to uh, the universities. So there are various approaches. Building new STEM-related uh, schools, secondary schools, junior high schools, building new infrastructure, STEM infrastructure in existing universities, building new universities, making it also accessible for people who do not do, essay, uh, do science to also do STEM-related subjects. These are some of the approaches that uh, are being taken so that we can increase the threshold, the numbers of people with technological education. So that's why the ministry is so happy to partner with Academic City in launching this program because it is going to contribute to government efforts, government efforts to make Ghana more ICT driven, more technology driven, more data driven. And as Africans, uh, we have been a little slow when it comes to numeracy skills and technology skills. And the time for us to run with it is now. This program that Academic City is doing is a wonderful one. It fits directly into the government vision, and it fits into uh, a national vision to grow this economy. And this is wonderful. <laughs>